Here's how I increase image quality and smooth jagged edges without losing performance. Using DLSS override mode at 1080p or 1440p on my RTX 20 series graphics card. So let's dive right in. First, download the latest version of the NVIDIA graphics driver. If you already have the latest driver, no need to download again. But here's something important. Sometimes if you install the NVIDIA driver together with the NVIDIA app, the DLSS override option doesn't appear in the app menu. To fix this, uninstall only the NVIDIA app, not the driver. Then download the latest NVIDIA app directly from the official website, reinstall it and restart your computer. Now, after restarting, open the NVIDIA app. On the left side, you will see Home, Drivers and Graphics. Click on Graphics. You should now see your installed games listed in the menu. For me, Red Dead Redemption 2 is showing up, so I'll select it. You will see the in-game settings displayed, but I'm not changing anything here. Just scroll down until you find the driver settings section. This is where the DLSS override option becomes available. Click on DLSS override, model presets, then check the box. Use different settings for each DLSS technology. Now you'll be able to adjust super resolution under DLSS override. For super resolution, I recommend choosing the latest version or preset K. I tested both and honestly, the visual quality and performance were very close. But in my case, I'm sticking with latest for the best results. Click apply and now select which DLSS mode you want. Performance, quality, balanced or DLA. Personally, I find performance mode works best for Red Dead 2, so I'll go with that. Next, enable low latency mode and set vertical sync to fast sync. This helps reduce latency issues and screen tearing issues. Now, close the Nvidia app and launch Red Dead Redemption 2. Go to the in-game graphics settings and set DLSS to performance mode. Adjust the sharpness slider to around 30-40%. For TAA sharpness, try around 35-40%. But if you notice over sharpening or shimmering, lower it to 20 or 25%. Now let me show you a comparison. DLSS override performance mode versus DLSS off. You can clearly see that before enabling DLSS override, the image quality looked blurry with more jagged edges. After enabling DLSS override, the visuals are sharper, edges are smoother and performance also improved. Sadly, this method only works on RTX GPUs. If you're on a GTX series card, you can try using OptiScaler with the FSR 3.14 mod to improve image quality. It works well, but in my experience, DLSS override still looks cleaner and performs better. If you have a 60Hz or 75Hz monitor, I recommend capping your FPS to match your refresh rate. You can do this with in-game vSync or through the NVIDIA driver settings. Alternatively, you can use fast vSync in the NVIDIA control panel for smoother gameplay without heavy input lag. So that's it. You can see how DLSS override really makes a difference. Better image quality, smoother edges and improved performance. Honestly, it feels amazing. Anyway, try this method out and see how it feels for you. If this video helps, leave a like and share it with others. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.